Do you know that Python can draw your CAD work in a matter of seconds? Go and check out this example. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and special welcome to new viewers. Today we're talking about a powerful tool that can transform how you use AutoCAD, the PyAutoCAD library. Whether you're automating designs or integrating data from other sources, this library can be a lifesaver. Let's get started. What is PyAutoCAD? That's a fair question. What is PyAutoCAD and why you should care about it? PyAutoCAD is a Python library designed to interact directly with AutoCAD. It allows Python scripts to automate AutoCAD operations using COM, or Component Object Model, making it a bridge between your AutoCAD environment and Python's capabilities. I am sure you have heard about Python programming language and its limitless reach in automation, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. How does PyAutoCAD work? To use PyAutoCAD, you'll first need to ensure you have AutoCAD installed on a Windows machine since it uses the COM interface. Here's how you can start automating AutoCAD with a simple Python script. From PyAutoCAD import AutoCAD comma A point. A CAD equal AutoCAD create if not exist equal true. We are importing two classes. AutoCAD. This is like gaining remote control access to your AutoCAD software. It can allow your Python script to command AutoCAD as if you were using the software manually. A point is a helper class. It's like a tool that handles coordinates within AutoCAD, essential for defining points where you might want to place objects, start lines, or define boundaries. A CAD equal AutoCAD create if not exist equal true. This line makes a connection with already open session of AutoCAD or automatically opening AutoCAD session if it's not open. It means your Python script can run any time without needing you to manually ensure AutoCAD is open. What can PyAutoCAD do? With PyAutoCAD, you can perform a variety of tasks such as drawing geometric shapes, lines, circles, dimensions, managing properties like layers, and even importing data from external files like Excel. Pros of using PyAutoCAD. One of the biggest advantages is efficiency. Automating repetitive tasks saves a significant amount of time. Plus, it minimizes errors, ensuring precision in your designs. Another pro is its ability to work with other Python libraries, allowing you to pull data from databases, manipulate it with pandas, or even control AutoCAD through GUIs built with libraries like Tkinter. Limitations of PyAutoCAD. However, there are some limitations. Since PyAutoCAD depends on COM, it's only compatible with Windows. Users on Mac OS or Linux would need to use virtual machines. There's also a learning curve. You need to be familiar with Python and understand basic AutoCAD operations to use it effectively. And for very large drawings, you might notice some lag due to the overhead of COM communication. Let's put this into practice. I'll show you how to use PyAutoCAD to draw circles based on coordinates from an Excel spreadsheet. This nifty little Python script will automate drawing the circles in AutoCAD. First, it imports the must-have libraries, pandas for handling data, and PyAutoCAD for chatting with AutoCAD. It then loads up the Excel file, coordinates.xlsx, to grab the coordinates and radii for your circles. After firing up an AutoCAD session, it loops through each row of data. Then, it creates circles in AutoCAD, at the specified spots with the given radii. As you can see, the script reads the Excel file, then iterates through each row to draw a circle at the specified coordinates with the given radius. The execution happened in a fraction of a second, but I will use the time library in Python to show you how it iterates to draw circles one by one. If you add this line, import time, it will import the time library, then call the sleep function at the end of the loop and let's delay the execution of each loop run by half a second. This will allow us see the code running in slow motion and see how the code reads Excel line by line. That's a wrap on the basics of PyAutoCAD. I hope this gives you a good start to automate your own AutoCAD tasks. Experiment with the scripts, modify them, and see how you can improve your workflow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your questions or what you'd like to see next in the comments below. Happy automating.